What's up everyone? I recorded this video on Wednesday, October 6th, 2021, and it's about 4 o'clock p.m., 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 21 Celsius. And I'll be walking through the most profitable shopping mall in the United States per square foot. It is Queen Center Mall, located in the New York City borough of Queens on Queens Boulevard between 57th Avenue and Woodhaven Boulevard. This shopping mall opened on September 12th, 1973. Previously, there was a children's amusement park on the land called Fairyland and a supermarket as well as automobile parking. The original anchors of the shopping mall were Abraham and Strauss and Orbox. And I've been to this shopping mall many times throughout my life. It's also very convenient to the Woodhaven Boulevard subway station, located only one block away, as well as multiple bus lines. And here's Woodhaven Boulevard, a major uh, street in New York City as well. If you were to take Woodhaven Boulevard all the way down, you'll head towards the Rockaways. There's also a very popular shopping mall for uh, the young adults here. They get off school and then they hang out with their friends in the shopping mall itself. The entrance to the shopping mall is over here to the right, but you can also go through many of the other stores like Macy's, which is one of the anchors now along with JCPenney. Here it is, Queen Center Mall. Great location for the Annie Ann's, just right off the main entrance, so you can smell all the pretzels. It's also Gloria Jean's coffee. Now, um, throughout the 90s, this was the only section of the shopping mall, and it was uh, mostly a blue color but it undergrew a, ma a massive renovation from 2002 to 2004 and greatly expanded in that direction towards the new uh, JC Penny, uh, Penny anchor. But even I'm looking at it right now, a lot of the stores have changed since I was last year. I would have to say it's been at least like a year since I've been in the shopping mall. And it's also amazing to me that this is the most profitable shopping mall per square foot in the United States. It's here in Queen Center Shopping Mall. And I also read that this is the third um, planned shopping mall in New York City. There were two other shopping malls before this one. But in this uh, original area where the shopping mall uh, grew out from, there's three levels. Oh wow. Looks like I won't be able to go down from here if I go down, so. Maybe I'll go up first and then I'll go down. This store is completely new, Two's Urban Ride. These electric scooter companies are popping up all over the place now. These are some serious e-scooters. Let's go over this way. Here's another uh, tempting place to eat, Cinnabon. Also, they do have parking lots here. I forget how much the parking rates are and probably they've changed since I was last here. Well, there's a nail salon coming soon. Here's a dental office. 
Also, we have a uh, juice place here, tea bar. They're also in uh, Flushing, Queens. And in that corner is the exit to 57th Avenue. And Applebee's takes up the entire uh, corner area for this shopping mall or this floor. Even in this original location with the three floors, I felt that Queen Center Mall had a lot of um, business already. I remember coming here during the holidays, the mall would always have a uh, meet Santa Claus um, event and people will line up for up to an hour at a time just to uh, sit on Santa's lap and get a wish granted. Now let's go up to the top floor. Oh wait, there's four floors here, I forgot. There's another floor. I have to say, this mall is really impressive. Let's go to the top floor first and then I'll come down. There's a smoothie stand, but no one's working there right now. A sneaker city. Next to Skechers, how about that? Talk about uh, beneficial businesses. The Macy's uh, Anchor Store takes up all four floors of the shopping center. Actually, I think what I'll do is I'll walk on the top floor and I'll cross over into the new wing of the mall and then come back around on the ground level. What I am very uh, happy about when the mall expanded is that the mall added tons more parking spots. And even in the old location, there was a lot of issues with uh, not enough parking and it was very narrow. The new wing is so much better with that. Here's the public restrooms. It's a spot here called now Mango Mango desserts. I am actually shocked at how much the mall has changed since I've been here. Many of these stores I didn't even know um, are here. But I just, I guess that just goes with the, uh, the U.S. economy in general. Places are closing up and opening all the time. Here's Build-A-Bear Workshop. I guess they don't need a whole retail store for their products. It's actually smart marketing too because the kids will see it and then they'll encourage the parents to uh, buy the teddy bear or the stuffed animals on the spot. There's also the food court on the new wing, which I'll show you as well. From what I remember, that food court didn't really have too much of a selection. You definitely don't really get gourmet food in the food court, but who knows, maybe it's changed. Most of the time it's fast food, 
as with um, many of the other shopping mall food courts I've been to. This section over here is kind of cool, as you can see outside. There's also another pretzel store here, in addition to uh, Annie Ann's, what we saw before. Hagen Dazs is pretty busy. <laughs> so you see here a general overview of the mall. You've got the Apple Store on the third floor. And then you have the first floor and the basement level. The first floor is the only floor that doesn't connect to the, um, the other section of the mall, the original section. Only the second floor and higher. They did that because that street is uh, too, busy of, uh, too busy to have the mall go right through it. So they made the second floor, third floor, and the fourth floor have the uh, pedestrian overpass. And we'll get to see that once we uh, go on the first floor. Express men. Alright, so I've walked the entire width of the mall from Macy's to JCPenney. I'm actually surprised JCPenney is still around. I know over the years they've had some financial difficulties. Oh, here's another tea bar. So the same juice place that we saw on the other side of the mall is over here as well. Let's go down to the food court. It's not too much seating in this shopping mall. That's actually a complaint I've um, encountered with many shopping malls throughout the United States. It doesn't really seem to be too much uh, public seating. Here's the first floor and there you see the, uh, the street in front of me. Also the Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake Factory was founded in Los Angeles, but they made their way over here in New York City. They're a chain now. Here's the GameStop store. I remember when GameStop used to be in the original wing, all the way on the basement level. Who knows how many video games I've traded into GameStop and I've gotten like fractions of the cost that I paid for the video game for. Here's Keto Sushi with a conveyor belt for their sushi. Well this is new, I don't even think I remember this last time. Alright, so 
Looks like this food court has expanded a lot since I was last here. Now there's a Chipotle. McDonald's was always here. You're always going to find McDonald's in pretty much every food court. It's a staple. Sparrows, surprisingly. The annoying part is now they have the entire seating area all fenced off. I guess this is now how uh, COVID regulations are going. They want to bring everybody to a central point to check their papers before you can sit down. There's Moodle House. Yeah, it looks like it's still all fast food. There's not really any kind of like gourmet food here. All stuff that can be quick, uh, cooked pretty quickly. This is something new. Bok Bok Chicken Delicious. <laughs> I'll play on the chicken uh, Bok Bok. Or Cluck Cluck. Panda Express. Fast food, uh, Asian food. And KFC. All right, let's go up to the first floor. So that was an overview of the Queen Center food court. I don't remember the uh, early 90s, late 90s food court where it was located. Maybe it was on the third floor or the fourth floor. It's definitely changed a lot. Also, game stops change a lot too. It's a lot less cluttered of a store. Hey, look at this. We got some history of the neighborhood before this became Queen Center. I guess this was the uh, grounds of it, the parking lot. There was even trolleys running through the neighborhood. Here's uh, Flushing Meadows Corona Park. It still looks somewhat the same, um, minus a lot of the um, attractions around, but the globe is still there. There's a Fairyland Park, largest fun land for children. That was here before Queen Center. And there's what Elmhurst looked like. And now, you probably don't have to look at now, you could probably just look at many of the videos in my history. Yep. This is all the uh, Flushing Meadows Corona Park, City Field. Here's uh, Queens Boulevard yeah, at Sunnyside looking towards Manhattan. And here's the Q37 bus. Although they do not have these bus styles anymore, they've retired those. Oh, this is a cute store. Love the different stuffed animals and plushies they've got. All right. So as I told you, this is the only floor that you cannot cross over to the other side without having to uh, go on the street. And you'll see how busy the street is and why they had to do it this way. It's 97 feet. So if you want to continue on to the other side of the mall, you either have to jaywalk very carefully or go up one floor and then cross over that way. Or you uh, just cross with the crosswalk that you're supposed to. But I've seen incidents where there were almost uh, crashes with pedestrians here because they didn't want to wait for the light and 
some car almost hit them. But yeah, we go this way. This is 92nd Street and 59th Avenue. This is new, Shake Shack. And now we're on the original wing of the mall. Here's Shake Shack again, about the mall entrance. Windsor. I'm sure many people are going to be relieved to know that there's a Dunkin' Donuts in the shopping mall so you can get your coffee fix. On the uh, basement level there, there's the Spectrum uh, store, Spectrum store. Also Spectrum Mobile, I know they're... Wait a second. I gotta check that out, because it looks like all the carpeting got removed from that store. I've always remembered the Spectrum store there. It formerly used to be a uh, Time Warner Cable. Wow, look at that. Is the Spectrum store closing? News to me. Like I said, I haven't been in the shopping mall in a long time. But we gotta check that out. I haven't even been on that basement level. Probably for even longer. Maybe two, three years I haven't been to that basement level. But now is our opportunity to because the escalator going up was closed and I can just go down and be done with it. I don't need to come back up unless I need to come back this way. I guess it's just one way up and down. Where is it? I thought this was one way, but it's a two way escalator. I don't know why they didn't just open it up and make this one a staircase as well. There's the gap. All right, let's see what's happening to Spectrum. Maybe there'll be a big sign saying, we're moving. New Yorkers don't really like Spectrum Cable as their ISP provider. Many complaints with Spectrum over the years. There we got Forever 21 on the basement level. Yeah, look at this. Pretty much all of Spectrum is uh, dismantled. All construction materials, no more carpet. Wonder how long it's been like this. Closed until further notice. 
Wow. Well, no more spectrum. Not even any notice saying that they're moving or anything. It's just closed until further notice. Maybe they are going to reopen. They're just doing a massive renovation to the store, but I doubt it. Oh my gosh, that's not good. Someone just left the whole pizza box at the bottom of the escalator. Oh, that's gross. All right, I'm exiting on 92nd Street. And this will conclude my walkthrough of Queen Center Mall in Elmhurst in the borough of Queens. And these people are about to board the bus, the Q88 to Queens Village. Anyway, folks, really hope you enjoy that video of Queen Center Mall. I know I enjoyed walking through it because it's been ages since I've been in there. But please smash the like button for me. Subscribe for some more videos like these. And uh, I will see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.